Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how the new features of IBS Pentex 9.4 worked out for me. It had one really important update which I wished for so long time and I'm glad that it finally happened. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about is now we can change the background color without filling out the bottom most layer with different colors. This is really important for me as sometimes I don't really want the background color but I had to add it because it's needed. For example, I use darker desaturated colors as my background when I paint skin or any other things because white background is not really helpful in understanding the actual tone of the color. And now we don't really have to add a new layer for that. I can just change it from the color wheel. So I must say it's a nice update. The next new update is now you can export your art files as PSD to use it on Photoshop. So whoever uses Photoshop would be definitely benefited from it. You would be able to find the option for exporting file as PSD when you click on the share button. First they started with Clip Studio Paint and now Photoshop. They are expanding their limits and I'm happy to see that. Now moving on to the most important feature of this new update, the reference window. So from the settings menu, I just have to turn on this reference window and that's it. Currently we have the window for canvas which is really useful because when you try to add some details while zooming in you can see the entire art at your side so you have a better overall idea of what's going on. Now if we click on the camera button we can add the reference from there. So as you can see these are some good reference I collected from Pinterest and let's just choose something randomly. So we can zoom in, zoom out as we wish. We can change the size of the window by pulling up or down the bottom left corner. And also we can put the window anywhere by moving the middle part of the top where you can see that white bar. If we click on the three dots, we can see there's an option that says add a reference. So we can now add more than one references and I think that is very cool and also we can remove it if we want to. Finally, by clicking on the reset reference position, the picture will get back to its original position. So I tried to make something roughly out of it and I can tell you that it's actually much better than using split screen because your screen becomes smaller that way. I know all of us suffered from insufficient screen space because of split screen or adding the reference at the corner and all that stuff. Finally, our days of suffering has ended. I almost forgot to tell you that you can color pick from your reference. But don't be too greedy and color pick everything. That will not help you in increasing your knowledge of colors. Always try to visually analyze the color of your reference. It's okay if you are wrong. First just try to analyze the color and then compare how far you are from the original color. So if you keep on practicing that way, you will definitely going to decrease that difference. I am telling you guys, it feels great to be able to choose colors freely without being restricted by color picking. Before we move on to the next segment, I just want to say that I have one last wish that they add IBS Pentex on PC. Then I can die happily. Honestly, that's the only thing I want from them. So finally, we're going to move on to the last feature that is really interesting. That is adding rain as a movie. So I was looking for references that would match the aesthetic I was trying to achieve and I found this pretty picture of IU and made that happen. First, we click on the FX button 
and then we would be able to see the new option called movie. So when we choose it, we can see the rainfall animation going on. Now there's a bunch of parameters to customize it. You can increase or decrease the speed, amount, length and thickness of the raindrops. Also, you can change the direction of the wind. You can even make the wind jittery, as in it will look like the wind is coming from everywhere. Elevation angle is a very interesting option as it can be used for different perspectives. If you increase the elevation angle to maximum, it will look like the rain is coming from the top. And if you decrease the elevation angle, it will look like you are watching something from the top. So I found this really useful because you can use it in different styles of art. I must say, IB Spintex is really outdoing themselves. If you decrease the length of the raindrops, it looks like snowfall. So now you can use this for winter scenarios as well. I'm going to change the color a little bit. We have bluish green background, so I'm going to add a hint of it, not too much. Now that I'm done with the customization, I'm going to quickly save the video by clicking on the save button. It will show you three options and I have chosen 10 seconds. So this is our result and I have to say it looks really aesthetic. Coming back to the process again, if we click on the green tick, the animation is going to stop and whatever going on the screen will stay as it is. Now, for the finishing touch, I'm going to give it a water drop effect to make it look more realistic. We just have to choose the style menu and click on water drop. Then we fix some parameters here and there to make it look like the way we want. And that's it. That's all we have to do. I'm sure you can definitely see the difference between the plain grey color and the current realistic color. So this is our final result and I hope you enjoyed learning how to use the new features. Let me know if you are interested in watching the full process of this particular portrait. I'll be happy to post it. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next week. Till then, take care.